Hi folks, good to be with you. Love to everybody out there. Uh, you can get me on chasefirstpreacher.com. You can get me on Facebook and Twitter. Good to be with you folks. Don't forget we're going to Hyde Park on Sunday. So please pray for us as we go down. And also I am going to Africa. So pray for that uh, in the next four to five weeks. So it's good to be with you and love to everybody out there. We're going to be looking at some various articles by Cold Case Christianity. Uh, so that's the source where I'm reading from. So you can go and look at the articles, the excellent articles, and very helpful in um, looking up uh, information. Very, very helpful. So one of the articles is the case for the reliability of the Old Testament. And uh, he writes, We have been investigating the case for the reliability of the Old Testament by examining the process of transmission, the verification of archaeology, and the appearance of fulfilled prophecy in the text. The ancient scribes employed a trustworthy system of checks and balances as they copied the original text, and the accuracy of transmission process was successfully tested with the discovery of Isaiah text in the Dead Sea Scroll collection. The ancient Jewish believers and church fathers also embraced the Old Testament as the Word of God. In addition, archaeological discoveries have since confirmed many of the Old Testament accounts, and these archaeological evidences are rich compared with other written claims about the ancient past. Finally, the Old Testament scriptures contain fulfilled prophecy, including amazing prophecies about the coming Messiah, etc. So, in this article, it goes about a careful Masoretics subscribed to an incredibly high standard of copying, which they did. Dead Sea Scrolls confirmed the transmission process. There's a lot of Dead Sea Scroll material, and it confirms the veracity of the Old Testament text. It goes, ancient sources confirm the early canon of um, the Old Testament. So, for example, in one of the Maccabees books, it does talk about the uh, formation of the canon. Um, there are information about the Old Testament that we have is in Prologue to Ecclesiasticus, Philo, Germa Germania, the early church fathers, and Josephus. And our Lord Jesus Christ confirms through the Old Testament that we have today. The Old Testament has been verified uh, in archaeology. We have the Belshazzar tablet, the Nebo Sar Sar Kim tablet. We have extra biblical confirmation of biblical events. We have the campaign into Israel by Pharaoh Shishak, the revolt of Moab against Israel, the fall of Samaria, the f defeat of Ashad by Sargon II, the campaign of Sennacherib Judah against Judah, the siege of Lachis by Sennacherib, the assassination of Sennacherib by his own sons, the fall of Nineveh as predicted by the prophets, the fall of Jerusalem to Nebuchadnezzar, the captivity of Jeho Jehoiakim, king of Judah in Babylon. These are things that the Bible has mentioned but been confirmed outside the Bible in other ancient and archaeological information. The Old Testament has been confirmed by prophecy. Accurate predictions of ancient historical events. Babylon will rule over Judah for 70 years. Babylon gates will open for Cyrus. Babylon's kingdom will be permanently overthrown. Babylon will be rescued to Swampland. The Jews will survive Babylonian rule and return. The Ninevites will be drunk in their final hours. Nineveh will be destroyed by fire. Tyre will be attacked by many nations. Tyre, stones, timber and soil will be cast into sea. The Jews will avenge the Edomites. The Old Testament accurately predicts the coming of the Messiah, Daniel 9.25, Nehemiah 2.5.6. So you can look at uh, J. Warner Wallace, Cool Case Christianity, and you can get this article uh, for free. God bless you, and I hope that's been a blessing.